Welcome to AlgebraClass.com and our lesson on writing equations using point-slope form. Point-slope form is a great form for writing equations in slope-intercept form. It's used when you know the points, a point on the line, and the slope, or two points that lie on the line. So point-slope form looks like this. y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. I know this looks a little confusing, but let's look at a color-coded form of this equation. We know from using point slope intercept form that m is the slope. So if you know the slope, you can easily substitute for m in this equation. The x sub 1 and the y sub 1 are coordinates of a point that lie on the line. So as long as you know one point on the line, we can substitute for x sub 1 and y sub 1. The black x and y are going to remain variables. These are the variables that you need in order to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So before we go on, I just want you to remember that in order to use this form, you must know the slope and one point that lies on the line. And if you don't know the slope, you must be able to find the slope. So let's take a look at an example. And for this example, we're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through the points negative 4, 4, and 6, 9. And we're going to use point-slope form to do that. So let's first ask ourselves, what do we know? We know that we must know the slope, and that is not given to us in this problem. That is something that we, just from given this problem, we don't know. And we must know a point that lies on the line. So we actually know two points that lie on the line, but we only need to use one. I'm going to choose negative 4, 4. You could choose 6, 9 if you chose to. So knowing that I don't know the slope of the line, I need to first find that before I can even begin using this formula. So step one is to find the slope. And you should know how to find the slope given two points. We're going to use the slope formula, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I'm going to go ahead and label my two points. This is my first point. So I'll label it x sub 1, y sub 1. And this is my second point, which will be x sub 2, y sub 2. And I'm going to go ahead and substitute into this formula in order to find the slope. So y sub 2 is 9, and y sub 1 is 4. x sub 2 is 6, and x sub 1 is negative 4. So 9 minus 4 is 5, and 6 minus negative 4, remember that subtraction is adding the opposite, 6 minus 4, or 6 plus 4 is 10. So 5 tenths can be simplified to 1 half. So the slope for this equation is 1 half. Now that I know the slope, I can continue using point slope form. So we know the slope is 1 half, and we know the point that we're going to use is negative 4, 4. And we're going to go ahead and substitute into the equation. Remember this y remains y minus our point, the y coordinate is 4, equals the slope, which is m in the equation, is 1 half times the quantity. Remember this x remains x, and x sub 1 is the x-coordinate of the point, which is negative 4. So I've substituted for the x and y-coordinate of the point and the slope. And now I can just go ahead and start by simplifying this equation. So I'm going to start on the right-hand side by distributing the 1 half throughout the parentheses. But before I even do that, I'm actually going to simplify a little bit in the parentheses because we have x minus negative 4, which can also be written as x plus 4. I think it's a little easier to see it as x plus 4 than x minus negative 4. 
So we're going to go ahead and distribute. So on the left we still have y minus 4 and this becomes 1 half x plus 1 half times 4 is 2. And now I know that in order to get my equation in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, I need to solve for y. So I need to get y by itself on the left hand side. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of the minus 4. So to get rid of minus 4, I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. And when I do that, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. I'm left with y equals 1 half x and then combining like terms, 2 plus 4 is 6. So I get y equals 1 half x plus 6. And this is the equation in slope intercept form that we were looking for. Okay, so as you can see, point slope form is pretty easy to use. If you substitute for the slope and you substitute the coordinates of the point that you know, you can easily simplify the equation and solve for y and you have an equation written in slope intercept form. Okay, that concludes our lesson on point slope form.